Hello everyone, hope you're doing well. In today's session, let's discuss about uh, creating a bot or a webhook uh, which can send alerts from TradingView to Telegram along with the screen screenshots or along with the chart snapshots, right? Um, this is not a new idea. I've already published two ideas um, on the same lines, um, but I made lots of changes um, and advancements to existing repository and uh, we have a few options we have a few different options and also enhanced a um, few things like a login process um, the login process actually broke from the existing repo um, and because something might have changed the trading view login page i was using um, selenium for logging in um, but i think some of the internal ids or something might have changed causing the issues so instead of using selenium for login uh, what i'm doing now is uh, you know trying to use a session based logins or creating a backend call to generate the session ids all right, so let's get started. Uh, before getting started, like, you know, um, if you have not gone through this particular video of how to create a simple web hook to send alerts to Telegram, um, I request you to uh, watch this before proceeding ahead because this contains a lot of basic things such as uh, using Replit or uh, creating uh, Telegram bots using a bot for the or uh, you know are using postman and all this uh, all, the, all the different things so this is kind of a basic uh this kind of gives basic um you know um idea on what all required and how to use different things and all before proceeding uh, with the current idea so request everyone to go through this if you're not done already so there's also another uh, idea here um, which is an extension of the first one um here we are also sending a chart snapshot along with uh, alerts to the telegram bot so this we don't need to really go through because um, I made a lot of changes to this <clears throat> and uh, don't really need to, um, you know, since I made already a lot of changes to this, um, you know, a lot of things which are mentioned here will be redundant. So maybe we don't need to really go through that, right? We'll, we'll discuss uh, like, you know, from start to end, uh, you know, how to set up and um, how to, I use this um, um bot and everything right so let's get started so first thing you need to do is uh, go to the repository um like you know trading view telegram bot um from traders couple algorithms so you get all the information step by step information here so first thing you need to do here is to clone a replit repository so go to replit page click on this page so it will take you to this page so you can clone this or fork this by using this option so when you fork it then what happens is it creates the repository in your home page and you'll be able to do all the modifications okay so once you have done this the next once you fork this then what the next thing what you need to do is set uh, some of the environment variables so they're called secrets you can find them in the tools here so click on the secrets and you see these are the secrets which i have so channel and token these are these two are mandatory secrets you need to set so that is based on again um, the bot which you created using a bot father and also um, your channel id and all these things so that you need to this information you can grab from this and uh, populate it in these secrets Right, so these are mandatory. Without this, our bot will not work. Our uh, webhook uh, server will not work. So the next thing is username, password, or session ID. So you don't need all of these, or you don't need any of this. So this is only required if you are using a chart which is accessible only by a particular user. For example, if you look at this chart, this chart is not shared. For example. Um, this is not shared sharing is turned off here so if i try to use this um, without logging in i will get an error saying that uh, you know the chart not found the url not found so in order to use that then what we need to do is you need to log in and then use a chart right so that's why we need this login and username and password these are trading view username and passwords so if you don't want to give username and password of trading view you can also give session id so what happens with the session id like you know um, how to get the session id is uh, simple you got to log into trading view in your browser and then uh, click on this um, like, uh, icon here and then go to cookies and uh, tradingview.com and you can see the session id here 
right the session id you click on that and i grab the content i'm not going to click on this now because uh, it will display my cookie um, my session id and anyone else will be able to use my um, login if if i show this so i'll click on something else cookie settings if you see this this is the content for cookie settings but this will be something else for session id so i grab the session id content and then post it in this field in the session id so the problem with the session id is it's going to expire after some time so we don't know how long it's going to stay so uh, you may get you may start getting error after some time and then you have to do this again and again manually so yeah adding username and password takes care of this problem so um, you know if you don't want to do it manually add username and password it will create the session id internally in the program um, and rotate it whenever it needs it okay so once you set up these uh, these things all you need to do is um, it will be in a stop um, stop mode you just need to start the bot so i'll just stop stop it and it will just run the bot so sometimes what happens when you run the bot is it will try to create install all the dependencies um, completely so it's going to take five or six minutes um, but luckily that didn't happen now um, if that happens you'll have to wait it out so now it actually um, just right came up straight away the bot is alive you can see that it's logged in it's got the session id from database and it it very it ran a very it ran a um, you know request to understand if the session id is correct and got few details you can see all these things in the logs uh, and if there is anything wrong you will also see the information here if you're not able to log in you can see that uh, login require something like that some other message here instead of this coins and other details right so you started your bot now i started your service now so you once you started a service grab this url this is the url through which you can access your service and you can call the webhook i'll do one thing close this one don't save so this is the webhook i've already set up so i will not use this I'll, let's do it from the beginning so in order to uh, create um you know in, in order to create a web postman call this is a postman for, um, by the way like you know if you are already if you're not aware um it's all it's also again i mentioned this in my earlier videos how to use the postman and all uh, you can install the postman as a client or you can also use a web version if you don't want to install in your computer right i have my own client here so i'm just using to try to use this so to test this what you need to do is you need to create a new http request and enter this url here and slash webhook so this will not work because our webhook is a post request not a get request and if you go here um, back to our program and go to server dot py you can see that this is a post request uh, okay this is not a post request um, but it actually needs a payload so we need to send it as a post request um, so i'll send it as i'll convert this to a post, post request and then you need to send a body. So I'll just send a raw body. This is a test alert message. So this is a content which I want to send. So send this. And you can see that my bot has already got this message, right? So instead, I don't want to send this random message. I want to send a far more formal message or um, a more structured message let's say that um like i'll just copy this message i found from um handcrafted it um so i'll just copy this and i'll paste this instead and then send it so now what happens you can see that it still sent it as a text and it's uh, sending it as a json so this is a json message this format is json so um you can verify a json format um like you know there are a lot of online format uh, online uh, validation tools available for json so if you're not sure if it conforms to json format you can copy into that and then verify whether the format is json or not so right now this is a json format but the problem is it's still not printing as a tabular format or more structured way so what we need to do for that is um, we need to send another uh, parameter a query parameter called has uh, json request is equal to true so i'll just use this and remove the chart so json request is equal to true oops failure why okay it's not a json request because it's a text request if you look at this i'll go back to this 
it's none type is i triple okay so this is not a json request that's what's happening so we'll not be able to um you know pass this so in order to make it as a json request what you need to do is set this and send it again so it's success you can see that you can see the message here and you can also see the message here right it's coming up as uh, in a formatted way so now let's say you want to make it more stylish like this something like this instead of uh, just a plane so for that what you need to do is uh, go back to this message here and look at the parameters so there's a parameter called table format okay so the values you can get it from this tablet link so the tablet is uh, python uh, python package which i'm using to um, make it structured so these are the different table formats available you can go to this link and scroll down to table format you can see different table formats i'll use the fancy grade so what i'll do is and blfmt is equal to a fancy grade so i'll just use this then this one success and if i go back to this there it is so we are now sending um, alert messages to the telegram group now let's say you want to send also a chart snapshot something like this so when the when the alert comes up you want to send a chart all right so if that if you want to do that there is a simple way what you need to send is you need to send a chart id so chart is equal to dash 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 so this id you can get it from when you log into chart this is the id which is present here just copy this and then post it here so chat is equal to this so that means that it tries to it, it is not only sending the message but it also tries to grab the chart snapshot so i'll send this send success we'll see what's happening in the logs so it generated a um like you know tablet format but it's not it's not here yet so this is the last one so the new message hasn't come yet so let's wait for some more time <clears throat> so what's happening is here it's setting up the selenium it's trying to load the um the chart and then take a snapshot so it's going to take some time because uh, uh, it has to do everything manually so if you can see that it loaded this chart and then let's wait for some more time let's wait for some more time it's going to take some time sleep for 10 seconds <clears throat> so you can go to output maybe uh, and you can see that sometimes okay it's not posting now so adjusting um, position by 100 what happens is when you load a chart it will be very close somewhere here so adjusting load by um, by 100 means it will just drag a little bit so that it's more visible um and then so it's sent it's sent now so you can see that there is a new message which came at just now 312 3, um, 312 it's 312 here so and also the chat snapshot so you can see the snapshot here you can also put any um this uh, chart url you can actually put some um indicators and everything but uh, remember that if you are using an invite only indicator then you need to log in to show that indicator otherwise it won't be available so um, if you are if you want to show an invite only indicator here um or which you, you only have access to um then what you need to do is you need to provide a logins uh, login credentials in the secrets right um that's um, that's about sending the screenshot but you know let's um let's check one more thing so we are sending a uh, chart screenshot now and uh, but if you look at this so there's one more thing okay so look at this then um look at the chart here so we are sending an apple um, we are sending a uh, details of the apple but if you look at the screenshot it's just ethereum so how do we handle this so for that what you need to do is you need to send another parameter here and r is equal to apl right so you know when you're setting an alert you know for which you are setting an alert right so you can set all these parameters in the web url it doesn't need to be dynamic 
So what goes here is a dynamic um, that comes um, because of based on your alert. So you can set this to whatever ticker you are setting the alert for. So okay, I'm sending this now. So let's see what happens. It's going to take some time again. Same process. I um, it created an alert message and setting up a Selenium again. So unfortunately, I couldn't get around this. Um, set up Selenium once and use it again and again. That I couldn't get up. Um, I, don't, I couldn't um, get it done. Um, I'll try to probably um, do more research on this and try to come up with an idea on that. So I can see that the alert, um, the chart URL has changed now. It's now it has now appended um, question mark symbol is equal to AAPL, right? So it's going to load a, a Apple chart and then it's going to take a screenshot of Apple chart instead of Ethereum chart, right? So let's wait for it to come down. Uh, it's going to be another 10 seconds, I think, 10 seconds, yeah. And then we'll get it in the Telegram. Adjusting position by 100, almost there. Chat is ready to capture, done, right? So you look at this now, so it has created, it sent Apple chart now, instead of uh, sending Ethereum chart, right? So that is another parameter which you can use. And the last one is, Delivery. For example, if you look at this, this message came so late because it was waiting for a screenshot. You don't need to wait for a screenshot to get this message. So what you can do for that, like if you want to get the alert as soon as possible and get the chart a snapshot later on, if you want to do that, then what you can do is um, you can set delivery is equal to ASAP. So you add another parameter called delivery is equal to ASAP as soon as possible so as soon as uh, the alert messages are prepared it, it will be sent so there may be a delay between sending alert message and the chart um, chart snapshot so that's uh, we can't really help about that so see the alert message came straight away with this and but we are still waiting for the chart to complete right so that's how we can use this um, I think I will not wait for the chart to come back. So we'll probably stop it here. Um, let me know if you have any further questions. Um, and I think I've covered everything. I can, um, I can probably go through this. I can probably I can go through the previous videos as well to give you a better understanding. Um, and try it out and let me know if you have any questions. Right. Thanks very much, everyone. Hope you enjoyed the session.